I feel like people film and they talk about how they want their like DCP channel to be like real and authentic and like the truth and then like they show up looking perfect or like I show up looking like this. <laughs> Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. I didn't think this lipstick was going to be this pink when I put it on and now it's on my face, so I sincerely apologize for that, but here we are. So last week I did the DCP tag, which everyone and their mom has done. Literally now, Summer Alumni is open to literally people's moms. You don't gotta be at school anymore. A mom could do this. Or I guess you could be like a young mom. I don't know, now I'm just talking to myself. But everyone's done that. I will link mine up in the cards if you haven't seen it yet. It goes over some basic programs about my upcoming program. Nope, some basic questions about my upcoming program. But as you'll see in the beginning of that video, I started reading questions and there's also like a DCP alumni tag, which is for people that have already done the program. So I thought I would do that today. I've talked about my program in the past. Obviously this is like where this whole channel stemmed from. I have a bunch of videos on my last program, but I thought I would answer 10 questions about my last program going into this program. Hopefully these questions will give you kind of an idea about how I liked working for Disney, my experience working for Disney, coming up to another program, besides what y'all have already heard on my channel. So the first question, Christian, I'm having a real rough time talking today. The first question is what year did you do your DCP? And I did my Disney International Cultural Exchange program, the Disney CEP, last summer, so summer of 2018. Were you in Florida or California? I was in Florida. They actually didn't open up California until this year, but the program was way more expensive for the acceptance fee and it was way shorter. So I opted for Florida again this year too. The third question is what is your role and location? I've talked about this a bajillion times. I was main entrance attractions at Disney's Typhoon Lagoon, the water park. So I worked parking and greeter, so like touch points with magic bands and tickets and all that. But people in my role also got trained in ticketing sometimes. And then I also picked up a, excuse me. Then I also picked up, I don't wanna say quite a few, but a handful of shifts at PAX. So I have some experience in that as well. Number four is what do you miss most about the DCP? Honestly, just being around Disney. I've always been a Disney person before my college program. I was a annual pass holder for Disneyland for about three years. So I was at the parks every couple of months. I would make a trip of it probably every like three, four months. So I just like being around Disney. I like the snacks. I like the shows. I like the atmosphere. Just like being in a Disney park makes me happy being around it makes me happy. So just kind of the whole atmosphere. Also, I felt like really carefree. Last summer was like the best I ever felt about myself, like personally and physically. And I was like, besides the one traumatic thing that happened in my program, which I wouldn't, couldn't control. The whole like Disney aspect, living at Disney, working at Disney, I loved, I was like so carefree, so happy. I was thriving. So we're hoping for that again this year. <laughs> How many times did you visit the parks? I don't even know. I feel like I didn't actually go to the parks that much because I didn't work at a theme park. It was really like a pain for me to go home and then go back to the theme park. So a lot of days if I worked a long shift, I just went home or I'd like want to go to the parks and I'd go home and then I'd nap and then I would wake up and it would be 6 p.m. and I wouldn't want to take like a 45 minute bus to Magic Kingdom. So I feel like I didn't go to the parks that much, but usually if I did go to the parks, it was Hollywood Studios or Epcot and I probably went like, I don't know, three-ish, three to four times a week. What is your favorite ride? My favorite ride all time, I think maybe any Disney park ever is Expedition Everest. It is the best and anyone who disagrees uh, is wrong. <laughs> I don't know, I don't make the rules. You're just wrong, okay? How unblended is my neck contour today? <laughs> what is your favorite place to eat? I have two options for this. If I'm like talking meal meals, the Tuli Canteen, the crispy vegetarian tofu bowl with red potatoes or sweet potatoes, whatever it is, and then the creamy herb dressing. Oh my gosh, it's so good. That's like the one meal that I'm real excited for. And then snack-wise, the vegan tachos from Andy's Lunchbox in Hollywood Studios is like my favorite like savory snack. What is your best memory of your DCP? I have a few, obviously. I really like going to Sunrise Yoga. I thought that was super fun, even though you had to be up at like three in the morning for it, which was a pain in the butt. It was a really, really neat experience. Um, also just like, I had a lot of fun work days. Um, we had a lot of days where we would, could take ERs, but I wanted the hours, so we would just kind of hang out afterwards. Um, my location was very, very relaxed, very chill. We had days where it'd be pouring rain, so we would just get to hide in the back and do whatever because we went one on one in the rain and we literally couldn't do our job. Um, and then also on my very last night, me and my roommate, Steph, 
who I love, still friends with to this day, we went to be our guest for dinner and then we like got out and it ran too late and we almost missed the fireworks and it was raining. But that was super, super fun too. I love that day as well. Who's your favorite character to meet? Wait, it just says who's your favorite character, but I'm gonna assume it means who's your favorite character to meet. Actually didn't meet him in Disney World, but at Disneyland I always make a point to meet Eeyore. I love Eeyore so much. Um, at Disney World, probably my favorite character to meet is Mickey. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Mickey. We love a classic, you know? And the last question is, would you ever work for Disney again? Which I think we already all know the answer to. <laughs> Obviously I'd work for Disney again. In a month and three days, I'll be back working for Disney. Actually technically unofficially because Traditions isn't gonna be for like four more days later, but in like essentially a month, I'll be moving back down to Florida to work for Disney for the summer in my dream role, so I cannot complain. But even outside of the parks, obviously I would love to work long term in the parks. I can't do that. I am not American. Disney hates us. It's fine. I understand. Whether it be in the offices or like remote services or in a Disney store or something like that, I obviously would love to work for Disney again. I think the perks are really sick. Obviously, that's the main one, but I also just really like the company. I like the way they run. I like the morals behind it, and I really like the way that they train. A lot of companies, I feel like, don't have very good across-the-board training, and it's really difficult for employees to, like, I don't know, understand all facets of the job, but I think Disney does a pretty good job about training people adequately and, like, working within the company with people. I never had a point where I felt like I was super, super underappreciated, you know? That's it. That's all. Those are 10 questions about my last program that honestly you probably already knew. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you. Thank you for watching. If you are new to this channel, hi, that's me, I'm Lauren. Uh, as I just explained, I did a program with Disney last year and I'm going back in about a month. If you wanna follow along with my life, feel free to subscribe. I am here twice a week, every Tuesday and Thursday. That is generally when I upload unless something tragic happens. And by tragic, I mean I sleep in really bad on Tuesday. <laughs> feel free to subscribe if there's anything else you want me to see. Wait, you want to see? You want me to see? I mean, if there's anything you want me to see, you can send me links to other people's videos too. But if there's anything that you would like to see from me, hit me up down below. I'm happy to do that. All my other links to my other social medias are also down there. I am on Instagram all the time. And I will see you guys in a couple days. Bye.